Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. My name is Don and today's topic for writing help is show don't tell. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to spend some time defining show don't tell so that you can use this strategy, this skill to level up your writing. You can make your writing pop more, you can make it more relatable, you can make it sharper, more professional with this skill. So it's super important to understand what it is and how to use it so that you can get better at the process of writing. The other objective is making sure that when you are working with an editor, so when you make the leap from sort of doing your own thing to working professionally and you have people looking over your shoulder, sort of double checking your work and making sure it's good, you understand what they're asking you to do when you see a notation on the page that says show, don't tell. Now, before we get into that, I do want to say one thing. As you can see, I'm a little bit older. I'm definitely new to TikTok. Got a learning curve here. So if you like my content and you're interested in what I'm doing, give me a like, maybe a follow, whatever you can spare for this old man. I'd appreciate it. All right. So in terms of defining show, don't tell, it really comes down to sensory information and emotional information, body language, things that we see in the real world that tell us what a person's going through, how they're reacting, how they're acting, what their state of mind is, what their emotional state is, and that type of thing, right? Like if you walk into a room and you see someone in there, there's no narrator saying they're afraid. You just see the person and maybe they're pacing back and forth. Maybe they're biting their fingernails. Maybe when they talk to you, they're speaking a mile a minute or, you know, their eyes are darting in different directions or they're, they're shaking a little bit or whatever. So there's a lot of tells that we see in the real world that we understand just by observing people, right? And that's what show don't tell means. Don't tell me the person's afraid. Show me all those little tells. Show me what they're doing, how they're acting, how they're reacting, and then give me the emotional context, right? So you can definitely go into what's going on inside their head, but you don't just tell, you know, this is what's happening. You allow the reader to build that scene and that reaction and that understanding themselves, okay? So that's the primary component of show, don't tell. It's using shorthand, body language, emotional contents, sensory information. So using our five senses, whichever ones are relevant to a scene, right? I mean, you know, taste and smell aren't always going to be important when, you know, feeling and hearing and seeing are, but you use those things, you use those elements to illuminate, to illustrate for your audience what is happening so they can draw their own conclusions. You're not just telling them this is what's happening or this is what this person's going through. And the best advice I've ever gotten in terms of practicing this is write a sentence where you're telling someone something. This man is afraid. This man's crossing a street. You know, whatever it is, right? It doesn't matter what it is. Just one simple sentence. And then build that sentence out into a paragraph where you don't need that initial sentence anymore. So, and that could include anything, whatever elements you think are important, whatever elements are relevant to the scene so that the person understands what you're trying to get across. That's really the nature of this skill. At the beginning of this video, I said that understanding show don't tell is also important for when you start working with editors. I don't say if, I say when. If you're serious about writing, if this is something you want to do, whether it's your primary source of income, whether it is just a side hustle, whatever it is you want to do, does not matter. At some point, if you keep trying, you keep pushing, you keep going, you will eventually get published. You will eventually start working with someone or you'll eventually start paying someone to look over your work because you're publishing it yourself. However you want to do it doesn't matter. The main thing is this, understanding what show don't tell is, is super important when you're working with someone else because they're going to put that notation on your manuscript. And if you do the wrong thing, you're undermining yourself, right? You're not undermining them. They're not the writer. They don't care. They are giving you instructions to make your writing better. They are trying to give you feedback in that sense. And if you don't go the right direction, if you start taking away details or something like that, that can really interfere with a reader's enjoyment of what it is you're doing. Having said all of that, I do think that telling is just as important as showing. I know in a lot of situations, showing is good, but telling is also an equally important skill. And I've got another video on why that is. So if you're interested, please check that out because I think that striking a balance between show, don't tell is really one of the key things in developing your writer's voice. All right, enough about that for now. 
Until next time, have a great day, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.